In this episode, we will take a closer look at this Viking lab sword and find out if this might be the perfect weapon for you. Hello everybody and welcome back to Lab Now, your lapping experience on YouTube. Today, we have this Viking sword from Epic Armory and we'll take a closer look at it. So, first impression is that this has a really beautiful hilt. But if you get a little bit higher, you come to the blade. And I have to say, there are better blades on the market at the moment. So, it is pretty thick and it is not even completely straight. You have really, really big bows like this one. I hope you can see this. But the price range is about 75 bucks and that's not too bad. It is about a meter, a meter five long and the blade comes with 85 centimeters and the hilt are between 15 to 20. The hilt is made from PE foam and has this really nice leather lacing and due to the manufacturing with PE foam, it is way more resistant than common latex. The blade itself is made in the classical latex way. So you have a foam core with a fiber, fiber staff for the durability and it's coated with latex and a top coat. At the tip, there is a Kevlar wrapping to prevent the core from stabbing through the foam. But I have to admit that, this, that the core goes way too high. So it ends about here. And usually you want it just like one to, one to two centimeters lower. For the next part, I will ask my beautiful assistant. May you step closer, friend? Found some stranger. So let's see how this feels when you use it. The shield took no serious damage and neither did the sword. But I have to say that the balance point is way too high. It's about this part of the blade. And to be used in a good and proper way, it should be just like five centimeters above the cross guard. So this would, would be a good place. The, bel the high balance point shows when you're, when you're making your blows with the sword. So you have the long blows and you can't really stop stop them in the sun. It will always follow the direction of your blow. And another point I just saw is that if you're hitting with a lower third of the blade, it really bends. It bends absolutely badly and it also has this kind of rebounds through the blade which holds for like one to two seconds and that's way too long even for a lab weapon and even for a lab weapon that's almost a meter long so after these blows there are no serious damage to the blade of course the top coat is a bit worn off and i have to say for since it has been used for very few blows and no real lab combat it is a little bit too worn off but you have to keep in mind that this is a really medium priced sword in the lab market and of course you can find more expensive and better swords but you have a lot of swords that are way way worse and cheaper so i think if you're looking for a nice viking sword and you love this beautiful hilt this could be the perfect weapon for you but if you're not sure about the blade and how it rebounds take a look to other manufacturers in fact there are manufacturers in the market and they're developing their products and the blades are getting thinner and thinner and more realistic looking and even sturdier in the same process. Nice for beginners or nice for people who love the look, who love the look but not if you're looking for something really durable and a good all-in-one package. I hope we could help you with your decision whether to buy or not to buy this sword and remember we are here to show you how to LARP now.